Good morning and welcome to our church service for Sunday here. Our gospel reading today tells a story about Mark, or from Mark's gospel about Jesus when he went to go and teach in the town that he grew up in. And I'm going to, just going to read it here for you. Say Mark writes, Jesus went away from there and came to his hometown and his disciples followed him. And on the Sabbath, he began to teach in the synagogue. And many who heard him were astonished, saying, where did this man get these things? And what is the wisdom given to him? And how are such mighty works done by his hands? Is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary and brother of James and Joses and Judas and Simon? And are not his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. And Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his own hometown, among his relatives and in his own household. And he could not do or he could do no mighty work there except that he laid his hands on a few sick people and healed them. And he marveled because of their unbelief. And he went around in other villages, among the villages, and doing some teaching. You know, it's a wonderful little gospel reading here, and it's one of those funny ones that we sort of scratch our heads. Why couldn't he do any miracles? Because after all, isn't he God? But it's that one line there, because of the people, they didn't believe him. And why didn't they believe him? And that's kind of one of those funny questions that we kind of scratch our heads and wonder about, because after all, when we talk about Jesus, and we know from Jesus and from the rest of the Bible that this is God's son that came to die on the cross in order to save us. And so he's got a voice that we should listen to and we should believe him. But the key thing is, is that it was in his own hometown. Now, you know, it's kind of one of those funny sorts of things because, you know, we know we're supposed to respect people, right? And usually as kids, we're really well behaved around other people's parents, right? Right. But when we're at home, are we always respectful to mom and dad and those kinds of things? Or are we always nice to our brothers and sisters? And that's kind of what happened here, because sort of like when we're with our brothers and sisters or with our mom and dad, sometimes we just are so familiar with it that we just we know the people so well that we just kind of go and needle them and we don't really believe them, all those sorts of things. And sometimes we even pick fights because, you know, well, that's just we're at home and then so we think that it's okay to pick fights at home but if we're at somebody else's house okay we always listen to their mom and dad and those kinds of things and sort of the same thing happened here with Jesus because when he went home even though the people knew him from way before when he was raised as a little child because Mary had brought him home right after Bethlehem and when he was born in, in the in in the state in the manger there they grew up with him, and so they didn't think that he was that special. And so when Jesus came to teach, they'd heard all about the miracles and those sorts of things. It says, who is this guy? He's the guy that grew up, and Joseph is, you know, stepdad. We know him. He's a carpenter, and so he learned how to be a carpenter with his stepdad. And because of that, they didn't really show Jesus the respect that they needed to, and so they didn't listen. And because of that... You know, and Jesus called it unbelief. So we think about that and hear that. This is one of those kinds of things, not only for us as kids. It's a reminder that, you know, with moms and dads too and the people that we know best, it's always good to have that respect and that we listen to them too. And I know we stumble in that, but especially when it comes to Jesus, because when we grow up in church, sometimes we just say, well, yeah, 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 I learned those stories. And then we forget to pay attention to them. And it's very easy for us to get lazy with that. And when we think about it, Jesus is not just a friend, you know, like we say, what a friend we have in Jesus. And he's not just, you know, a really cool person to think about as an example for life. But most importantly, he is, well, he's God's son. He's God himself. And he's the one that came to be our savior. And so because of that, his voice is very important for us to hear. Now, I know we don't hear it with our ears when we're trying to listen for Jesus in the clouds. Sometimes people get crazy and they think that they hear him in that kind of a way. But we hear his voice, well, when pastors take God's word and moms and dads take God's word in the Bible itself and they teach it to us well. And then as we grow up learning to read the Bible too, and this is one of those cool sorts of things. Martin Luther and many others before him, they taught that the best way to read the Bible is to read it out loud. You might say, what? 
Sometimes we get nervous about reading out loud. But the idea isn't so much that we worry about how well we read it, but it is so that we not only can see it with our eyes and think it with our heads, but that we can hear it even with our own voice in our own ears. And that's why when we talk about church, it's so good to be in church and to learn how to listen. So that instead of just taking Jesus for granted, okay, just sort of like we do with him, you know, brothers and sisters and those sorts of things, that we always learn to pay attention and to hear what he teaches us. And we know that from the Bible. Both, yes, that there's a right way to live and a wrong way to live. Of course, we know that. But because we're sinners, we can never do that perfectly. Most importantly, that we hear about how well, Jesus loves us so much that he stretched out his arms on the cross and says, Father, forgive them. He forgives us. That's what baptism and Holy Communion and church services are supposed to be all about, even though we get it mixed up all the time just because it's so familiar. But really, Jesus wants us to hear that message, that he loves us so much that no matter what kinds of mistakes we make, and whether we think we make mistakes or not, that he wants us to be there so that we can keep hearing that word and learning to live with that gift of his love and his forgiveness and the gift of his Holy Spirit. So today, while the Bible reading is both, you know, a reminder that we shouldn't get so familiar with things that we lose that respect that should be there to listen to Jesus. Of course, that's good. But the other side is, is that it's an example of what not to do. And so, um, and sometimes in the Bible, there's lots of those examples along the way. And the Holy Spirit really gives us this Bible reading in order to teach us that, you know, Jesus' words are always important. And we should always listen to them and we should always come and hear them with faith so that, you know, by teaching us, he can help us to grow, not only to you know, really learn how much he loves us, but then also that we can learn to show that love to others around us. So God bless you today as we start this hot, hot summer season. Stay safe, stay cool, but always keep your ears open to hear what Jesus has to say. Amen. God bless you. Let's pray the Lord's Prayer together. We say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right. Bye-bye for now and we'll see you very soon.